احنا رجالك يا بشار Coming to you live from the crazy pit, it's your host, Sir Askelad. We are going to be playing the Sons of Demeria in the Ambinar uh, mod for EU4. I'm also using the Ideas Ambinar, and that adds in a whole bunch of new mechanics and a new way to look at the game. I will say it's imbalanced. But I do enjoy it, it shakes up the game a little bit, and it doesn't guarantee you are going to survive, especially playing the Sons of Demiria, who we will see in a minute, have a very hard start, in my opinion, to an extent. Uh, I'll scroll down on this so you can read it, but you're going to have to pause, I don't feel like reading it. So, the Great Conqueror. Do you want to deactivate the Great Conqueror feature? I am going to let them come, because you know what? Let's add some spice to the late game. So, as the Sons of Demeria, we start off as an adventuring company. And, essentially, we're a migratory tribe, and through the government reforms we can stake our claim and we can claim all the land around us we can also fight wars to claim said land which is most likely what we are going to do so i'm going to start off by forming a federation i don't know why i always choose these guys but i always do this doesn't really matter because i'm going to get an event that's changed at the corin and I'm most likely going to do that. So I'm going to go with the extra point for now till that changes. And set our rivals. So. The House of Riches. I always like to do the Wanderers because they're furries. As you can see. This religion is literally just furries. It's ridiculous. I love it. I love it. Alright, who else? Small fellows. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the halflings. And... I guess I could do the House of Riches. Actually, I would rather do... Yeah. I'd rather do them. Because I'm going to be fighting them a lot. So we have a whole bunch of new stuff here. This is what we're aiming for. We want to revive the kingdom of Adensia. Which is going to make us a powerful knight kingdom. Uh, we have development. There's automatic development in this game. There's manual development growth, of course, still. And we have this nice little thing that shows us how much of trade goods we have. State edicts. This, this is fun. So here, we can decide how we want to treat other races. So, like, I can go to orcs here. Orc pop menu. So I can expel the orcs for 50 administration, and it brings down my efficiency for admin. Uh, we can purge them for another 50. Hurts our diplomatic reputation, but we kill the evil greenskins. Which I will most likely be doing. I might early on be expelling because it's cheaper. But I might be also purging eventually. Rats, rats, rats. You've tried trapping them. Poisoning them. You've even tried bribing them. It's time you tried the only rat poison that harnesses the power of religion. Creedicide. We can also do this for diplomatic power, which increases the events that give us positive stuff for them so we can integrate them into the culture but we're not going to do that because we don't like green skins we are dealing with what is known as the age of the green tide the entire world shakes as hundreds of thousands of orcs pour out of the serpent spine this age of upheaval calls for the rise of unified nation states against the barbarous forces of evil so that tells you everything they are evil so we're going to have to deal with our 
evil compatriots. So buildings, I'm going to build a guild hall because it's going to increase my uh, reform progression. I'm also going to get a general, going to make him my king. That's a pretty good general. I usually get a crap one. And let's start off. Corrin's Fall. The green tide began 24 years ago when the orc Corgas Dorkson, who claimed he was the son of the evil god, invaded and laid waste to the Shivler's kingdom of Eskin. Only Corrin, a mortal woman imbued by the power of Argdos, the disgraced god of war, could stop them. And stop them she did. And with her followers, she united the marches and adventurers in Eskin into a single force of good. Oh, we're still running. And stopped the invasion of Western Canar dead in its tracks. Yesterday, on the 11th month of... Naramid. Again, I'm going to say this. I am not good at pronunciation, so don't expect the best from me. Deal with it. Corgus Dorkinson was slain in single combat by the heroine Corin in the city of Castroboth. But in return, she too lost her life. Corin is dead, but so too is Corgus. It is up to the rest of us now to follow in her legacy and bring an end to the Green Tide once and for all. So, we got to bring down the green tide. That means we got to kill the orcs. Kill the orcs, that's what I say. Oh god, we got a god ruler here. As you can see, the cap the cap for points has been raised. So, you can have some pretty OP rulers in this. They join a federation? They did. I only want to ally federation members, so... I'm going to go with the Cobalts. And... All right, let's go with the Pioneers Guild. Uh, Pioneers Guild Alliance. Okay, that might have been might have been poor decisioning on my part. All right, let's get you into the Federation. You into the Federation. Nobody can join our Federation. They've all already joined. That sucks. Uh, yes, yeah, our Covenant, we can be allies for now. And one more. Starwalk Band. And Order of the Ashen. Where's the Order of the Ashen? Order of the Ashen, yeah. You guys. Okay, so I'm immediately going to curry favors. Because we need to go to war with the orcs as soon as possible. See, like I said, didn't matter what I picked. Because now we have... Now we have this new nice event. You can read this. I'm not going to read this. But we are going to accept Corrin as our new deity. And we are going to drill. And drill we shall do till it is time to fight our war.
expulsion of humankind. That's unacceptable. Unacceptable. We're going to have to go teach them a lesson, right? Right, guys? All right. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Still waking up this morning. I got a little bit of a sinus thing going on, so I do apologize if I cough a little bit. But I was going to say we could migrate all the way down to the south and just go on a rampage. That would be awesome. But we're not going to do that. Yeah, I'm just getting these now. Really want to push for that reform as soon as possible. Really going to be helpful. Cork Pater available. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we're going to take that. Company needs equipment. Damn, they are just demanding our money. Take it. Take my money. Take it and don't come back. They'll be back, don't worry. So we're just drilling and drilling and continuing the drill. Um, not really sure what I should talk about. You guys, uh, as the videos come out you guys tell me your opinions maybe i'm talking too much maybe i'm talking too little you just tell me what you think and uh, i'll try and uh, work my way around that but uh as of right now we are just trying to uh get ready for a early war with the goblins and the orcs because i want their tribal land really badly really 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 badly why do you ask I need 10 provinces here. We can go to decisions. I need all of, not all of this, but I need 10 provinces out of this. And I need this to form the country. And I would like to get that going as early as possible before I settle. But you never know. We never really know what's going to happen. Nope, oh, there we go. Let's get Sword Covenant going. There are five, that's awesome. So, I am really new to this. I'm just doing whatever the really I feel like doing, pretty much. So, if you don't like, leave a dislike. If you like, leave a like. Don't have to, don't need to. Just enjoying this, doing this for fun, and I uh, thought I'd see how it goes. So, uh, just leave a comment if you have any comments. And we are still drilling. The Eternal Drill.
really want to go to war before I have to migrate because you don't claim already pre-territorial land, which sucks. We are going to go over our force limit for this war. And... Oh, always do that. Curry favor with you. Almost there. That's awesome. Alright, so we are about to go to war. All we gotta do is wait for our morale to go up. And we will be able to deck on these guys who are allied to everybody in the north. That means we're gonna be able to do two wars, because then I'm gonna wanna go to war with the goblins. Might go with the goblins first. That might be in our best interest to actually declare that war first. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do, actually. So let's move into position. Wait for that tick. Call back our diplomat before I forget. And we got a reform progression. There we go. Okay. And here we go. Let's declare that war. The reclamation. Let's call in all my allies. And let's get this party started. once out of the war. Too bad. We're fully sieging you guys. Fully sieging. Wow, that's an 85%. Watch that fall. And it fell. So I do not think I'm keeping this idea that we start off with. I think I am going to go down. I've been debating about it through the videos. I'm going to do probably cavalry because we will have OP cavalry ideas later on. And that will be very beneficial. I just want to finish the siege. Hopefully it finishes this month, but with my luck. Yep, with my luck, we are still waiting. Still waiting. It is already ticked a couple times now. Oh. There goes my allies. Go fight the orcs. And there we go. That's the end of that. Let's go fight a final battle. Why not? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll rethink that. Yeah, I, th I think this is what we're going to take. I could be wrong. We might take this instead. Mm. Nah, we'll, 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 we'll go with this. We'll go with this. This is, this is good enough. This will this make me happy. 
But I think we can piece you out for money and war reps, which is most likely what we want to do. Because we are going to need as much money as we can afford. Okay, let us try and do this peace deal again. We want all this, this and this, and all your money that we can get, and thank you for the tribal land. Now we can migrate, and we can go back to drilling. Because now we gotta wait for our allies to be ready to go to war. Shouldn't be too long. Need a new rival. I think we are going to go with... Who are you? Who are you? Ah, Grasshopper. Oh no, you're not Grasshopper. You're all the way in the north. I'm going to accept that. I think that's reasonable. And then I'm going to want these guys as a rival because we're about to go to war with them. Oh, you are asking for manpower. Have my manpower. You helped me in a war, so I'm willing to help you. Scratch my back and I shall scratch your back. So, this is the perfect opportunity to go to war. This is 100%. Oh, he's got Karnak here. <laughs> that is not good. Who is Severed here? You are Severed here. Well, I need the Sword Covenant to join this war before I even decide. Iron. That is iron, right? That is iron. Yeah, the everything looks different on here. We got tar. Got grain. We've got the lovely horses. More grain. Here we go. Lead. Whole bunch of new items here. Still got copper. There is supposed to be a gold mine around here somewhere. And I think it was this one. It's sad that we won't have gold, but we will have tons of other random stuff. So Sword Covenant is ready to go to war. So, let us... Oh. Huh, I was pretty sure you had ten favors. Just, just... Barely missing that. Alright, Severed Ear has his only ally. But they have a whopping... Yeah, they have 18k. They're, they are definitely not a pushover country. Oh, how nice. That's super nice. I like that, too. We're just going down. I think I'm going to save that. And we're going to lose that. No, I have the money. That we are going to take. Federation's very weak. We're only two. It's very sad. But it's the way that the wind blows, apparently, in this game. Really need you to join this war. Okay, spend the money. 
so close. Probably like three techs away. There we go. Now we just need to wait for the diplomat. And we can declare this war. Not going to do humiliate. Let's call everybody in. Now, I would spread out, but that is not in my best interest. I will get ganked pretty hard by the AI. They will just wander around and do whatever, and then randomly show up to fight the war. This is probably going to be a very quick war the way this is going. And we just want to take all of this. We want to take as much of this as possible. We want as much of this as possible. I would have to say this is my easiest war in this game so far. Very, very easy. I think... I, I, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I am going to have to say this, this is definitely the easiest wars I've fought this early as this country. I will not lie, I have troubles with this country because I get uh, overly aggressive and declare a war and immediately attack alone, and I die. So, this is probably the best start ever so far. Sieges still take a millennia. There we go. Huh, why can't I take that? Huh, that's weird. I should be able to take that. No. I want this land. Well, maybe if we piece him out, we can get it. We will see. Probably not. I don't know why I cannot claim more land. Give me all your monies. Now we move on. The head honcho. Yeah, this seems to be all we can take in the war, which is very disappointing. But we are close to staking our claim of the land. That'll probably be the last thing we do in this session. And then we will be back possibly later today doing this again.
going to have to fight another war as soon as possible. Oh, I've never seen that before. Because they were expelling? Oh, it's... I don't know. That's weird. Never seen that before. This game is very broken. I wonder. Not happening. What about you? You, on the other hand, might just very well be able to. I'm going to ask you that. Oh, there goes our stability. So sad. So close. And that tech. Gotta get that tech. I'm probably gonna end up staying here. Because I really want to keep the lead. The lead. Because if I move, I'm gonna lose it. I want that iron, too. But yeah, I really want that lead. Lead is pretty good in this game. Not as good as, let's see if I can find some. Ah, this. Yes. This trade good. Look at that. Ten. We're damned, steer. Can't complain about that. This I can totally complain about. Get out of my land. So close here. Hoping we can get this before the save ends. Maybe up in the speed will help us. Okay, I think I am now going to pay the money for this because the settle cost is pretty good. That we're going to save. Ideas available. We don't want that. You want my manpower. Have it. You are at war. Go ahead. Okay, we can stake our claim. Stake our claim. Oh, we didn't gain all, all the territory we were supposed to. Alright, we have gone from a single province miner to a two province miner. Losing money like crazy. Maybe upping that efficiency will help us. Yeah, it looks like we got a while till war. But I am going to call it stop for here. And uh, we're going to take a break. I don't know exactly how long. But I will probably be recording again later today. Uh, once again, this is Sir Askla. Thanks for tuning in. And I hope you enjoyed with my extremely autistic video. Have a nice day. And I will see you next time.